Oh, 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 busy, busy, busy. So, what was uh, somebody? <clears throat> Question, oh. Yeah, Capilano Highlands, Edgemont Village. The Lewis Hobo was filmed there most of the time in Vancouver. That's out of the way. I kind of rushed today, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, so, oh, yeah, yeah, Star Trek, two comments. One by a email, one by a post on the YouTube. That was 1997. Uh, it was hosted by Herman Zimmerman, Star Trek people, producers, and some actors. Based on the problem of the Soviet Union kind of abandoning abandoning their <laughs> missiles and that kind of thing and who's going to take care of them will they explode or set off by accident or something like that uh, it was interesting uh, there, who attended the conference hosted by Star Trek yes I was on Deep Space Nine and Star Trek launch and other places and a Klingon Warbird a Jemadar a fighter really Ed Quark's bar, of course, and then other places. Didn't get to see the Enterprise, but I saw the warp coil. Huge thing, at least 30 feet high and about uh, four feet in diameter, something like that. Looked like uh, fluorescent tubes of some kind and had a cover on it. And uh, so that was a highlight, uh, 555 Melrose Street. Got to stay there for the day. Uh, hosted. At Linda McLean's home, who was uh, the girlfriend of Herman Zimmerman at the time, and sister, Constance McLean. And there was an actress lady, I forget her name, unfortunately, who attended. Uh, Dr. Elizabeth Ann Rocher was there, Ken Shoulders was there, plus a bunch of other scientists. Susan Bannerman was also a banker in New York who was there for some reason. Uh, let's see who else Prince Alfred von Liechtenstein very interesting person in real life Henry Dakin uh, NASA personnel from the Mars uh, rover system who gave me a paper still got the paper but couldn't give me the photographs of the actual construction of the Mars rover it was a lot of fun. I gave my speech. Ken gave his speech. Dr. Rocher gave hers. Also, we met up at the same time with Dennis Weaver, who hosted us as well, at his little home um, on Malibu Beach. I think we also had a, a, a lunch. We did have a lunch with uh, Kirk R. Thatcher. And we had a few lunches together with Ian Gazda. Uh, Jean Manning was there at the conference. Jeannie was also a guest on the Deep Space Nine set. Jean Manning is an author, free energy author. Ah, uh, who else? It's a um, bunch of other folks, too. Some of the props they had for Linda at her home were so big and heavy that she didn't wasn't able to use them to put against her walls. The star maps and all that cool stuff. That was a lot of fun. It was a riot. Uh, Dr. Rocher and, and I were at Dennis Weaver's. She went in the ocean behind. Just step out the veranda onto the beach and got her clothes wet. Ian gave her new clothes. And she's a Trek fan, too. She stayed with us a month in Gold Beach. We had a lot of fun. We used to look at the sunset and talk about a lot of other things, but that was... When was that? 2015 or 16? I don't know. Also, Coast to Coast host. <laughs> Long winded story. Came down to Gold Beach, filmed this sent around 2017 as a guest with Richard Surratt on who came down who, uh, on Coast to Coast AM.com. Oh, a lot of activity anyway. Uh, so back to 1997. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Ah. I know. There was a number of actress ladies, as I recall. No, I met Paris Hilton in 1999 after the TLC show aired as a brief encounter in the Trader Joe's place. 
what else? Um, nice lady, actually. Wow. Karen Black I met before a long time ago. Anyway, wandering off the year 1997. It was an awesome time. And um, Larry King had a show for CNN, and he was uh, scheduled to ask Dr. Roger a quest question on this whole thing with the nuclear issues. So he was involved in some parts. I don't know where the story is, but after that, I went back to Vancouver after a month. I stayed in Agora Hills with Yin, and uh, Charlie Sheen had a house there as well, and he had parties all night long. Yin and I got in one of these little pedal boats with ducks following me and giving bread and stuff. We went up to Charlie Sheen's property, but nobody's home at the time. And Agora Hills, Malibu Lake, an interesting closed gate community that Yin had rented a house there for a while. So we drove back and forth to um, Linda's home. Where was it? It's Sherman Oaks. Uh, but I, you know, I traveled back and forth Vancouver to LA all the time. I did videos and I did pictures. It was 1999 with Thomas Mess. I've never, I'm not going to mention any last name. Anyway, from 1988, Munich to LA and back to Munich and back and forth and back and forth. This is an interesting place to go. Got to see uh, SAIC, who are very cooperative and gave me a bunch of papers as well. They're on Main Street in LA. Heard about them and I just walked down the street. And, said hello and they were very cooperative then. so on and on and on and on talk 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 show radio host anyway so that's the 97 uh, we saw the, um, the the little Mars rover yeah. landed on the 4th of July I took pictures of it from Henry Dakin's top part of the house that was a fascinating time a lot of activity who else was involved in that um uh, Oh, God, I got pictures, lots of pictures. I think there's videos as well. I gotta check the time, I gotta run soon. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. My eBay boohoo panties. Ah, uh, who else did we meet uh, in that time? Stick with that time. I wish I remember the actress lady's name, but anyway, Karen Black was 1989 or something like that. Uh, and, uh, I met a lot of people, let's just put it that way, nothing to talk. Nothing to write home about, we're all human beings. If so you're famous or poor, homeless, all the same things, doesn't really matter. People put energy into people and make them a big shot. Anyway, that was a long-winded story, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, Ken and I went to a group of scientists. It was 90 degrees, and I was really hot. And uh, I got pictures of them. I got pictures and letters from just another part of Los Angeles, but it was an interesting time. I'm trying to remember the names for Pete's sake. So that's some of my L.A. adventures with uh, Ken... I met Ken a number of times. Batika, California, with his science team. Mark Gold, another person, stayed at his home in Bodega. With Henry Dakin, Prince Alfred von Lisha. Well, that was all 97 for Pete's sake. Okay. Then with Ken in um, Ukiah. And then another location. Well, I can't remember all in different locations. But Ken and, and Ken stayed with me for a week up in Canada. We had a lot of interesting talks. There was a banker from another banker and a representative for Mexico, an ambassador. And the banker was leaning against my, on the floor, against the, <laughs> the sonar unit indicator I got off HFCS Columbia. And the other lady who was walking around and sitting down Ken and I were going to go to the Indian restaurant in Westminster. He liked Indian food. And the apartment actually got 
to me by Yin Ganatha way back. And I went on a buying spree and bought many tons of stuff from Fair Radio Sales in Ohio. And then I got onto the warships and it just, everything was everywhere again. So, anyway. I do that too. I met a group with Chris Carter. Stayed at uh, Kirk R. Satcher's house for two weeks. He's Star Trek. Star Trek number four. He is co-producer of it. A very nice gentleman with three big parrots. So that's some stuff I'm talking about. I'm going on and on and on. I just recently published a video I took. When was that? 99 actually. L.A. 1999 with Fox TV and group and Chris from Oceanside and Steven Seagal and 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 Yay! okay I gotta go because I'm going on like a loony tip uh who else oh yeah many people but that's Back to the main point of comments, it was, yes, Star Trek hosted us, as well as, um, in part, only Larry King and was Dr. Rocher, bless her soul. I've got a video of her for an hour long, I think, somewhere. But anyway, I didn't, oh, I did take pictures of Ken only, I didn't have a video cam. This was in L.A. <coughs> Linda's home. <coughs> oh, oh, what's that, guys? Uh, also involved was um, Norman Baker, who makes kombucha tea, lives in Palace, Pacific Palisades, the Gated Community, and has been housed there. He had all these containers growing kombucha tea. So I'm going to go. I'm going on and on and on and on. On and on and on and on. On and on and on. Yes, I'm crazy. Lama Lee, hi! I'll send you a link to this video and let me know if you can hear it. Your pictures are pretty cool. I love them. You're beautiful. Come on, be good to yourself. Hi, Lama Lee. Yeah, I love goofing around, really. Okay, hugs, kisses, and everything else.